When you are working with lexical data in Flex, you will usually want to customize the way that the entries appear. To do that, you need the Configure Dictionary dialog. There are three ways to get that dialog box open. One way is simply to use the Tools menu. If you click on Tools, and then you choose Configure, then you see an option for Dictionary. So I will choose Tools Configure Dictionary, and that will open the Configure Dictionary dialog box. I will click Cancel so that I can show you a couple other ways. In the Dictionary view, at the top, there is this blue header bar, and that is called the Information Bar. And these circled triangles are actually menus. There's a menu on the left and a menu on the right. And if I click the one on the right, I can see that it's showing me choices of different dictionary configurations. And the one that's currently chosen is the custom root-based view, my custom view that I created so that I wouldn't be changing one of the default shipping views. Now, besides the views that are available in the project, at the bottom, there's an additional menu item to configure the dictionary. So this is what I want. I will click this item and it opens the configure dictionary view. I will click cancel one more time and now I'll show you my favorite way to get that dialog box open. When you're in any view that's showing you a formatted preview of an entry, you can actually right click on that entry. So I will come to the one that it's highlighted and I'm gonna choose the head word Pay attention to which item you click, because that makes a difference. I will right click on the head word, and I get a menu. Now there's only one item in the menu, so I will choose that item, and that opens the Configure Dictionary dialog. Now if you pay attention, you'll notice that one of these nodes is highlighted very faintly in gray. Let me go ahead and click it so you can see it more clearly. When you right click on an item, it takes you to the node that configures the item that you clicked. That's very important. Now, if you're not sure which aspect of the preview pane is controlled by the node that you're on, there's a button that allows you to highlight affected content. So I will click that button, and now it has highlighted the head word. It's showing me that this is the part of this entry that's controlled by the node that's currently selected. Now I will click Cancel again, and I will show you one more thing. Here we were in the Dictionary view, but what if we go to Lexicon Edit? Remember that the Lexicon Edit view also has a preview pane. This also is a formatted view of that entry. In this case, it's only one entry. Now in this case, I'm going to click on one of the senses. This one has two senses. They both have the same gloss, but one's a noun and one's an adjective. So I will right click on this word cold and again I get the menu and I will choose configure dictionary view the only option and again it opens the configure dictionary dialog. Now again over here there's a node highlighted but this time it's the definition or gloss node under the census node of the hierarchy. So let me click it again to make it more clear. And again if you want to see which part of the preview pane is affected by that node you can click the highlight button. Now in this case, because there's two senses and they both have a definition or gloss, both of them are highlighted. So this highlight button is a very useful tool. And so those are the three ways of opening the Configure Dictionary dialog.